Hi guys, I'm Ted and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this pretty awesome quiff, but also, dun 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 dun, French plaque decorated look, which should take you about five minutes in the morning. If you're quick, if you're not quick, probably 20 max. If it takes you more than 20 minutes, rewatch the video. Get those viewing figures up. Um, the tools you will need to complete this look are as follows. A hairbrush, or just one bristle brush, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Failing that, you will need your hairbrush, a sectioning comb, optional, a back combing comb, you will need that if you haven't got a bristle brush, or a back combing brush, which you will need if you haven't got a bristle brush. Reason being, I use my bristle brush to back comb the front. Other items you need include one little clippy clip for sectioning, one elastic hairband, here's a whole pack because uh, I don't think just one's gonna, gonna kind of come up on camera. Oh look it does! One elastic hairband to obviously tie your French braid off, some bobby pins, the amount of bobby pins you will need depends on the weight and the length of your hair, and our final object some cute little pins if you wish to decorate it like I have mine. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to section off the front part of our hair to make the quiff. Now you can do this with your pin tail, rat tail comb or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to use my finger because this is one of my five minute hairstyles. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know, about, what is that, three inches? Three inches up, so I want my French plait to start here and I want my quiff to be here. I'm going to scratch down to where my eye roughly is, drag my finger straight through and that's going to give me a section. And the nice thing about that is the section is angled on a smooth curve and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And there we go, another section with a smooth curve. Now I'm going to take these two bits of hair bring them together, give it a little twist and then I am just going to clip that out of the way. There we go and now what we're left with is what we're going to French plait. Okay so now that we've got our front section sectioned off we need to take some hair. I recommend it just being kind of the bridge bit of the front section. So this little bit here, as you can see, and this is what we're going to use to form the initial French plait. Now I'm not actually going to sit here and teach you how to French plait because I'm sure there's much better videos out there on YouTube. So I'm just going to do a basic French plait down my head, gathering hair as I go, all the way to the bottom. However, something I do like to do if I want to smooth the French plait is I do go in with my brush and I do actually brush the hair into the um, strands when I'm gathering. Does that make sense? Okay, and so I'm going to go all the way down now the remainder of the hair just doing a general plait as you can see until I get to about here because what I'm going to want to do is stretch out my plait a little bit so I'll put in a couple more for good measure because I know they're going to come loose as I start to pull I'm going to take my elastic hair bands and secure my plait And there we go, we're about halfway through now guys. Right guys, we're going to need our bobby pins next because what we're going to do is we're going to flip the plait back on itself, so uh, I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to work out roughly which side I've done the loosest and it always tends to be my left side because I'm right handed so I always tend to tuck the plait into that side and what I do before we do that is we are going to stretch it out a little bit. 
and I'm sure other people like to stretch their plaits out in a much different way to me but hey this is how I like to do it and it's how it works for me so we're going with this way and now I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it up I'm going to twist the end and with a bobby pin I'm going to tuck that right inside the plait and where my finger is I'm going to go in with a bobby pin okay now that's not going to hide it completely straight away because as you can see we can still see the uh, the hair bubble so what we like to do now is bring the plait over using one of the plait branches I'm calling it a plait branch I'm going to pin that in there we go and then separating the plait out more so you can't actually see what I've done like so and there we go but the next stage is to do the quiff we then incorporate the quiff into the plait then we do our tidying so let's get ready to quiff okay guys and to do our quiff all we're going to do is we're just going to release our hair I know what you're thinking this is a lot of hair to quiff and then get into a plait but it's really not so we're just going to do our back brushing exactly the same really as that Kim K video I did which is linked down below in the description box but we're not going through this bit of the hair because it's too much effort and what we're going to do is we're going to just bring it up and then when you can feel your plait is where you're going to stop and we're going to pin just before the plait starts And as you can see, I'm pinning just in there. So let me just bring the camera in a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, so as you can see, I've pinned it just here because the plait starts here. And I'm going to continue to do that. So we're going to brush up. And we're going to pin just before our plait starts, which is back here. Now, with the Kim K one, same principle, we're going to bring all the hair over to hide all of the previous clips. But before we clip it in, I just want to get this all as smooth as possible. There we go. And the normal trick that I like to do, which is just a slight twist on the end. And then I'm going to clip this one just here. Okay. So now that we're all clipped, how are we going to deal with this and get this into the plait? I hear you ask. Quite simply... I'm just going to twist it back on itself, like this, so drawing the clippers in nice and tight, twisting it back on itself, and then I'm going to find a part of the plait that's free, and I'm going to tuck it under. Okay, and now we've got a slight bulging situation, which we can deal with very easily with just one more bobby pin. Going in on the very corner, we are just going to go straight with our pin and then in and back down on itself. This is going to take some fiddling so that you can get it in a position where it's not going to poke through the hair. Okay? And if you feel like it is, just pull that plait apart a little bit more okay so we're quite rough at the moment we've got our rough quiff done our rough plait done all i'm going to do now is just bring down the bits that i want to frame my face because as we all know i do not like to not have my face framed at all bring down as much or as little as you want this is when you deal with your fringe before we start securing and what we're going to do is we're just going to go around with some spare bobby pins and just neaten things up so on top is looking okay but I've got a bit of sagging here and I've got some hair that's not really playing along so let me show you how I'm going to deal with that. So as you can see just here I've got some hair that's not really playing along so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bobby pin, I'm going to go in on the side, I'm going to push it straight through and the plait itself is going to hide that little bit of error 
and basically what you want to do is you just want to work through your plait finding you know little bits that aren't necessarily playing along or that are kind of letting the style down and you can either twist them back in to where you feel like they should be like so or you can go in and clip okay guys so just to show you how we can make this look a little bit more jazzier if you are going out or for some reason it's bridesmaids hair or whatever I'm going to just show you how to make it a little bit jazzier with some cute little flower pins okay guys so this is really simple so all I'm going to do is just take a flower pin work out roughly where I might want it to go and I'm just going to poke it in and then I've got some really cute little flower details oh. now don't drop too many on the floor There we go. I might want to put one up here. And obviously you can put as many or as few of these in as you like. Just to kind of get the kind of whatever look it is really that you want to go for really. I suppose if you were doing a more bridesmaidy, weddingy themed one you might want to put a lot more in to make it a lot more defined and a lot more cutesy. I mean I'm personally just going to go to the shop so I feel like this might be a little bit too much now with the uh, with the flowers in and the, the kind of pony dress with the Sailor Moon thing but hey I am me. Okay guys thanks so much for watching hopefully you learned something new if you did please give this video a big like if you didn't please give this video a big like and if you could subscribe that would be awesome. And hopefully I will see you next time.